Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai, board certified dermatologist here in Seattle. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Thank you for your support, guys. Thanks for watching these skincare dermatology videos. I'm having a blast. Been on the channel for over three years now, and yeah, just gonna talk about something that's really fun. Three skincare hacks that I want you to know about. That's so simple, involving just affordable skincare. I know we've been talking about some higher end price point things like Skin Better Science, which is great, but Let's talk about some things that you can do and incorporate into your skincare routine that's very affordable, so easy to do, and it can be a game changer. So first off, let's talk about petrolatum. Petrolatum ointment, I know gets a lot of like hate online for some reason, but uh, say Vaseline, plain old Vaseline has a really long history of being a tried and true product. It's filtered many times, it's distilled, is a clean product of just pure petrolatum and it's not like you're putting gasoline on your face. It is a nice, safe product that we do for babies, kids, and adults. Been recommending it for years, even before I was a Harvard dermatologist and all the Harvard attendings would talk about Aquaphor and Vaseline all the time. I've been using it and recommending it in med school and it's just a great thing for wound care. And so it has a lot of different uses. So if you have a cut or scrape, I don't care for Neosporin. I like Petrolatum, whether it's the CeraVe healing ointment. I'm gonna use samples today. My little sample sizes that I give to my patients. You can do aquaphor, whether it's in a spray, which is super cool. I want to show you guys the aquaphor spray. They make a body spray and you just hold it a few inches away from your skin and spray it. If you want to do the slugging technique, the spray isn't very useful. You might want to use a tube or a tub. I like tubes for applying petrolatum to my face. And so wound care, totally use petrolatum for a non-infected wound to help protect it and then cover it with a band-aid. And if you want to slug and get a little dewy finish and apply a petrolatum ointment over say your moisturizer or your hydrating serum, especially the cheekbones, just a pea sized amount, you can really glow up and and get a nice dewy finish. I promise you it's really nice. If you have really oily skin or if you're dealing with acne, you might want to avoid slugging though because you don't want to occlude the pores or put on when you're using acne medications like say retinoids, prescription retinoids especially. You don't want to occlude with a generous layer of ointment like petrolatum because that will really seal it in. It might do too much and penetrate too far and cause irritation. So that's one thing. The other thing, if you have dry cracked heels, when your skin is damp, say you get out of the shower and you layer a nice generous layer of say Aquaphor, or CeraVe healing ointment, or you spray over your heels and you put a sock over it, go to bed the next day, your heels will be nice and fresh and smooth. So that's how you get baby smooth heels. So that's a nice hack when it comes to petrolatum. Petrolatum is just magic. It's so many different uses. If you have a diaper rash for your kids, you can go ahead and use that. Or if you're using prescription medications for the diaper rash, you can use this with it or in conjunction or for prevention purposes. And say baby is sick, and you know having a lot of runny stools you want to protect the skin as much as possible you might want to clean the area and then follow up with a nice generous layer of petrolatum over the bum so that you don't get chafing and redness and irritation from all the liquid sitting there in the diaper you want to protect that skin with another layer of Vaseline and if you're gonna go for a run you can also lather your heels up with Vaseline Aquaphor or CeraVe healing ointment what's the difference between them CeraVe has nice hydrating ingredients but it also has ceramides Vaseline just pure petrolatum. Aquaphor has vesavolol, glycerin, which is hydrating, but also has lanolin wool alcohol, which has become number one allergen of the year. The incidence of lanolin allergies have gone up. I don't see it often still in my practice, but still possible to get an allergy to lanolin. So from my understanding is that it's still rare, but if you're using Aquaphor and you're having a mysterious rash, you might want to switch to either CeraVe, which is lanolin free. Cetaphil also makes one that is lanolin free. They have their own ointment and then, or just plain old Vaseline. So that would be a nice hack when it comes to this and also just check out the oil the, the spray it's so useful my daughter when she goes to the pool she has eczema so when she rinses off in the shower at the pool she'll come out start spraying her body down she's a little influencer everyone's like taking pictures of the the um the spray and like i gotta go buy that target and so that's exactly what you want to do when you get out of the pool rinse off all that chlorinated dirty chlorinated water off and then after you shower apply a generous amount of ointment over your skin to help trap in that moisture from the shower okay before we're using the petrol you can glow up with different things, whether it's snail mucin. I like snail mucin quite a bit because snail mucin is full of hyaluronic acid. And so this is a nice little hack here if you want to glow up. So look at that, gooey, sticky finish. 
I like the cream version of this too, but it was in a tub, but I, now I hear it's in a tube. The jar was pretty messy where the jar lid would come up and all the slime would come up with it and it'd get real messy. But now if it comes in a tube, I'm glad Causerex changed that uh, because I really do like the texture of the cream. Now, this is great to put over damp skin. If you put your hyaluronic acid serum, like we said, Vichy Mineral 89, or if you have La roche -Posay's how you be five or this on damp skin, it's really gonna draw in that water. Cause that's what hyaluronic acid does. It draws in water like a magnet and then you apply a moisturizer or if you slug over it, that's a great hack that I want you guys to know about, okay? Because that is what I do before a big talk. I want a little bit of a shine. Dewey is in. When I talked to Avani and Alex Earl recently, they said they like a dewy finish. So very interesting, Dewey is in. So if you want a nice hyaluronic acid serum, I also like the Ordinary's hyaluronic acid serum. The Inky List is so, so so I, I kind of don't like the packaging of that hyaluronic acid serum. So those would be my um, picks, but also if you want to consider hyaluronic acid in a capsule, Rock makes a really nice one where it's very portable. I like their retinol in capsules too, but I want to show you their hyaluronic acid capsules. This is a sample size, look how cute that is. So cute, very portable. When I go traveling, I like to bring capsules with me because it's just preserved all in one biodegradable capsule. Twist the top off. Right there, nice little hydration boost there. So check these out, these are nice. And then lastly, I wanna talk about another versatile product that reminds me of, say, Vaseline or Aquaphor because of its multi-uses. This is the La Roche-Posay Cicloplast Balm B5. So it's Panthenol or B5, vitamin B5 or pro-vitamin B5. This is really nice at helping repair the skin barrier, it can be a little hydrate, can have moisturizing and hydrating properties. So I like this in my hyaluronic acid serums like La Roche-Posay's How You B5, it has hyaluronic acid and Panthenol. This though, the Cicloplast Balm, Balm is really interesting because it is a balm that's thick, but you could also apply it to your face to help heal acne lesions, scarring. It doesn't treat acne, but I want to show you the texture of this. You can use it for really irritated skin though, and it's not comedogenic, so you could apply it to the face, and a lot of influencers went viral with applying it to the face. It's just very soothing. It has shea butter, it has madacasicide, which is anti-inflammatory. Um, it might have some anti-aging properties too for the madacasicide, but it's nice to put over if you have a burn and you want to soothe it. If you have chafing, if you're a runner, if you like to cycle, you do Peloton and you have a lot of chafing between folds, diaper rashes. This is also a nice find here, the Cicloplast Balm. Big hero product that came out recently that I was introduced to last year, big win there. So I give it to families with um, small children or elderly patients who have like say sores on the bottom from just pressure ulcers from being stationary for too long. I will recommend this product, the Cicloplast Balm. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like the video, please share with your friends, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for your support. Hope these three hacks were very helpful to you. So much fun with you guys. Have a great fall and winter season. Peace.